Yo, what's good, everybody? My name is Enzo, and I want to welcome y'all to this very brand new podcast series that I'm starting, known as the PP Podcast. And today we're going to be talking about the greatest fantasy football league ever, known as the PP League. Skip it up and Okay, so what basically this is about is about, you know, my friend, best friend, Fantasy Football League has just started. You know, we just got it drafted. And now today, you know, we're going to be talking about the teams, uh, the rating of the team. That I, I'm personally rating and then their record prediction. So we got a little bit of a floor and a ceiling. Yeah, so if y'all cool with that, you know, we're going to get get it done. So let's just, let's just get it. Let's get it. Yeah. All right. We're going to start off with my team known as the Chelsea Fantasy Football. Not Chelsea Football Club, but the Chelsea Fantasy Football. I'm going to say this right now. Chelsea has right to take this video down if I'm considered copywriting their name, you know. So for my team, you know, I got quarterback Jalen Hurts. I drafted him because, you know, I think Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles are going to be a like a really strong NFC East team. Well, they're not, not only just the NFC East, but the NFC East itself, you know, that team, that team looks really good to me ever since Quarry, Shaquan Barkley. And I know that their defense has gotten a lot better. You know, they addressed the problems because that's what most people are saying right now. But yeah, I just, I, I feel really confident about Jalen Hurts and I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see the Philadelphia Eagles, how they play. And then speaking of Shaquan Barkley, I actually have him as my running back. Yes, I drafted Shaquan. That was my first pick. My first pick was Shaquan Barkley because I didn't want anyone to pick Shaquan Barkley. I think Shaquan Barkley is gonna have a phenomenal or an explosive season in the Philadelphia Eagles, bro. Like I really do think Shaquan Barkley is gonna pop pop off. Like, trust me, dude, I can't wait to see Shaquan Barkley. I think he's gonna be way healthier this season. So yeah, we I'm really excited to get to it. And then for my uh, second running back, I got Kenneth Walker. You know, I, Kenneth Walker was really good last year, so obviously I wanted to pick him again because I think he's still he's still he's still gonna be explosive running back, you know. And then for my wide receiver one, I got Puka Nakua. You know, he had a great rookie season, so we're expecting him to have a higher or a much better season actually. We're expect I'm expecting him to have a much better season, so I just can't wait to see Puka Nakua play again. And then for my wide receiver, someone told me to pick him. I'm picking Michael Pittman Jr. You know, he's probably one of the top wide receivers, the best one for Indianapolis coach. So. I know he got injured last year, but you know, I think he's gonna have a good good year, maybe a better year than last year, so we'll see. And then for my tight end, I got Evan Ingram. You know, I heard he was a really good tight end, so I think he's also gonna be have a good season for Jacksonville. And then for my flex, I'm paying as a wide receiver, Calvin Ridley in the Tennessee Titans. You know, I think he's gonna have a much better position or a much better spot just playing in the Tennessee Titans. Better is better than Jacksonville because you know he should be getting the ball more since you know he's a top wide receiver, but also with DeAndre Hopkins, but I think I think he's going to be a really good fit for the Tennessee Titans. And then for my defensive and special teams, I got the Eagles defense and special teams. So why am I surrounded with the Eagles? Special? Well, like I said, I think the Eagles have just gotten better. You know, that team has gotten better. The defense has gotten better. You know, I think I think they're having a really good season. And then for my kicker, I got Justin Tucker. You know, the most accurate kicker who was available on kicking, even though. Any one of my friends could have literally picked Justin Tucker. And then from my bench, I got the Ravens defense on the bench. And you know, um, you know, I, I'm, I was, I was starting them at first, but you know, I really didn't feel comfortable with starting them, especially against Kansas City, because I really don't know how well they're gonna perform against Kansas City. We'll see about that for next Thursday. And then from my bench, I got wide receiver from Miami, Jalen Waddle, and then tight end David Noku, Dallas Goddard, Marquise Brown. So those four players are currently questionable, but we'll see how we'll see if they come back because I really want to move Marquise Brown as a starter. Like I think he's I think he's gonna have a great season for the Kansas City Chiefs. And then for my backup quarterback will be Jordan Love. You know, I know that dude can ball out. And then for my backup running back is Devin Singletary. Yes, sir. So for me, you know, my team, I think I have a really, really, really I have a really strong team. I don't have the best of schedules, so for my floor, I'm giving myself a 7-7 seven seven record, but however, my ceiling is a 9-5, so yeah, it, it, it's there, it's really good, so it's like the 7-7 seven seven floor, I ha I've been having that record for like the past two years, so I'm hoping I, I can get like at least a ceiling or better, and then for my team, I'm giving myself a 4.5 star out of 5 star, so I'm giving myself a 4.5 star team, but you know. We're gonna see how well I do in fantasy football. I hope I'll do way better, but you know, it's just kind of hard to see because you know we we got some you know these people know know football well. 
Our next one, we're gonna do the host. The host and... Okay. He got me, guys. He got me. He got me once. I dig small. It is known as my Stefan digs small. My Stefan digs small. Dude, okay, this, so this is the host, and this is actually, this is my week one matchup, so we, we we're gonna go on predictions, but we'll, we'll talk about that later, dude. I don't know what this dude did in draft. I know, I was paying attention to the draft. You know what he drafted? He drafted most of the Dallas Cowboy roster. He drafted most of the Dallas Cowboys, and then he drafted some, some non-Dallas Cowboys roster because, you know, they're not gonna do well and shit, but, you know. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to cuss. Excuse my cussing. Um... Anyways, but yeah, yeah, dude, I don't know. So if his quarterback is Dak Prescott, I ain't gonna say nothing, bro, because I'm still like so uh, disbelief that he drafted most of the Dallas Cow Cowboy roster. But yeah, this is your quarterback is Dallas Cowboy. However, the running back is Kyron Williams, and you know I th I think he's a, he's a top twenty player in fantasy football. Like I was watching like fantasy football rank someone ranking fantasy football players, so I think it was like top twenty or something. And then for his running back, is surprisingly Jay Warren. He's not playing Ezekiel Elliott. I mean, does he have Ezekiel Elliott? Oh. No, okay. Well, my bad. I didn't. Uh, okay. And then for his wide receiver, you know, is CD Lamb. Oh, who wouldn't see that coming? And then his second wide receiver is Jackson Smith. Okay, because he was, it was supposed to be Tolbert or Brandon Cooks. But okay, he just, you know, you know, his side changed the lineup. And for Sunday, he got he surprisingly got Travis Kelsey, even though Jay Ferguson's on the bench. But you know he got Travis Kelsey then, and then for his flex, he got Keon Coleman. You know he's a rookie. You know I think I think he's gonna have a pretty good season, so it's gonna be a problem for me. And then for the defense, he got the Cowboys defense. <laughs> Dude, I really don't think the Cowboys defense are gonna be that good this season. Like they're gonna be so bad, bro. I don't know. I'm not sure about that, buddy. And then for the kicker, you got Brandon Aubrey. Oh, well, I guess this is actually, he's, I guess he's ranked one kicker over Justin Tucker. So I guess he's the best kicker there. And then for his bench, he's got Jake Ferguson, Adonis Mitchell, Brandon Cooks, Jason Tolbert, Baker Mayfield, Jake and Dobbins, and Tony Pollard. I mean, I, I think I give him Tony Pollard, even though I released him out of free agency, but yeah. For him, um, I'm giving him a four-star team. It's not all bad. But, like, yet again, you know, there's going to just be some struggles for him. So, for the floor, I'm giving him the common 7-7. Seven and seven, But, for this, however, the ceiling will be 10-4. and four. So, yeah, you know, that team, you know, he has better players where they can, like, pop off. But it just depends on how well they're going to play. So, you know, we'll see. You know, we'll see. So, the next one I'm covering is Hawk Tua. Octua. Oh, okay, honestly, this is kind of a this, this is a pretty deep roster to me. So if you look at the QB, he got Lamar Jackson, and you know Lamar Jackson won MVP. So there's no no secret that he's gonna do way better this year. And then for his first running back is Jonathan Taylor. I you know, I heard he's I heard he's pretty good. He's a pretty good running back. And then he got Devon H. A. You know Devon H. A. Kind of proved himself a rookie. You know being a pretty fast running back. And then he's got the number one player in the NFL, Tyreek Hill, at wide receiver number one. Which, you know, Tyreek Hill is going to have a really good season. You know, he, he always have a great openers. And then for wide receiver number two, he's got Devontae Adams, which is pretty deep. You know, because Devontae Adams is right, isn't one of those top wide receivers, too. For tight he's got Dalton Kincaid. That guy's going to get some receptions for sure, bro. And then for flex, he got Debo Samuel Sr. So that's just a, that's a deep flex right there, be, having Debo Samuel. Like, that's, that's really good. And then for the defense, it's the Steelers defense. This is my big question mark because, you know, you're going to rely on TJ Watt. And on those cornerbacks to get some interceptions, but you know I think the Steelers defense is going to be pretty competitive. And then for the kickers, Harrison Bunker was also known as a pretty good kicker too. So yeah, that's a, you know it's a pretty it's to me this is a pretty deep and complete team. And you know for that I have I had to give off I'm giving him a five star because you know I just like the wide receiver core, the running back core, and the, like the flexes are good. And like obviously the bench and the bench is not even that bad too. So yeah for. Speaking of the, so for that, you know, his floor to me is a, a pretty good floor. A ten, and, I'm giving it a ten and four record. So you know, this this is a high stake for me. However, the ceiling, I'm giving him a twelve and two. So yeah, that's just you know, that's that's a that's a good and really completed team, bro. So I'm kind of scared of facing them, but you know, we just got to see. <coughs> 
how well the players do. Moving on, we got a newest, uh, the newest member of the Fantasy Football League, as known as Alex's astounding team. And you know what's crazy? This guy wasn't there for the draft, but um, he, you know, he, he's actually got a good team, which is very surprising, even though he wasn't for the there for the draft. So for at QB, he's got CJ Stroud, who's putting up a really good rookie number. So he's obviously going to be better for Houston. And then for the running back, he's got Brees Hall and Jameer Gibbs. Those are pretty solid running backs, but to me, they seem pretty inconsistent, except for Jameer. So maybe, maybe except for Jameer Gibbs, but you know, but I know they're they're really good. So yeah, they're 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 actually not bad. And for wide receivers, you got Am Amar Say Brown, who's gonna really pop off. And then you got Marvin Harrison Jr., the rookie. So I think he's gonna have a good season. You know. Just kind of depends how well he's going to play against Buffalo because that's going to be tough. And then for Tiny, he got Mark Andrews. And then for Flex, he's got Derrick Henry. I don't know how he got Derrick Henry, but he got Derrick Henry. But he also got Mark Andrews, too. So you know, he has a good tight end and good flex. And then he's got the Saints defense. And that's your question mark right there because you don't know how good the Saints defense is going to be or not. I mean, they could be really good sometimes, but then, like, and they could be also pretty bad. And then for the kicker, you got Evan McPherson, which is a pretty solid kicker to me. So yeah, to me, it's a pretty solid team, but it's also kind of a big question mark too. So for Alex, it's astounding. I give it a 4.3 star team. And then this is where I'm really harsh because, you know, again, that team, to me, here's the thing. It's kind of a 50-50. You don't know how well those players are going to perform. So for that, the floor is going to be pretty low, 4-10. However, the ceiling is 7-7, seven, seven, so, you know, it's, it's going to be like a tie record or just a bad record, so, you know. And if I'm wrong, there's no way. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Moving on, we got the chicken tikka masala, which is a dish. A very good dish. Um, so this guy was there, and he, honestly, his team, the team looks pretty good to me. It's just... Kind of a big question mark because I'll tell you, I'll tell you the, the quarterback is Kyler Murray and he's going against Buffalo. I know, you know, Kyler Murray is literally a kryptonite to anyone. You know, he could beat a really good team anytime if he wants to. Like, he just did it with the Philadelphia Eagles, but I think the Eagles just had a downfall, but we'll see. You know, Kyler, Kyler Murray is that guy, bro, for Arizona. And then for running back, he's got B. John Robinson. I actually don't know how well B. John Robinson could, is going to perform, but I think he's pretty good, I guess. And then for the running back, he, Second is going to be Isaiah Pacheco, and that's 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 a pretty good one. But I actually had him last year's fantasy. I was very grateful to have him last year, so he's pretty good. First wide receiver is Jamar Chase. You know, Jam we'll see how well Jamar Chase is going to perform this first week because I know last I remember like last year um, for week one of Cincinnati Bengals, he did not do well. Cleveland is Cleveland. And then for a second, by Chris Olave, I have no idea who that is. He, I don't know if he's a starting wide receiver at all. So and for Italians, I Trey McBride. And then for his flex, is James Cook, which is pretty good. I don't know who Trey McBride is, so sorry about that. And then for the defense, the Lions defense, so that's actually really good. Lions defense is so much so much better now, so I, you know, that's a good pick for him. And then for the kickers, Camille Fairbairn, I don't know nothing about him. For him, I give him a four-star team, you know. You know, it's kind of like 50-50. And for his four, it's a seven and seven. This is, so he's, he's for sure gonna make the playoffs, but however, his ceiling is 11 and three, so pretty good ceiling record. So we'll just see how well he plays. And then up next, we got the Devious Freaks. So something about the Devious Freaks, this is a very special friend, you know. So the Devious Freaks and me, me, and, me and the Devious Freaks, we got a rival going on. We had, this is a big rival for us. So obviously, obviously, we'll be talking about that rival soon. But yeah, this for us, he's a pretty big rival. So yeah. so yeah. So speaking of our rivalry team for his QB, you know, he's, he's still rocking with Josh Allen. Allen, pretty solid QB. You know, that dude, that dude can ball out. Even though he could throw a lot of interceptions, but he can still ball out. For his running back, he's got Joe Mixon, pretty solid running back. And then for his second one will be Rashad White, pretty good. I don't know much about Rashad White, so but I know he's pretty good for Tampa Bay. And then for his number one wide receiver, he's got AJ Brown, Mr. Snatch the Ball anytime. And then for his second wide receiver, Stephon Diggs. So Stephon Diggs is kind of a hit or miss because we don't I don't know how much he's gonna be getting the ball. But we'll see. We'll see. But Stephon Diggs is not a bad, bad choice for fantasy. And then for Tyden, he's got George Kittle, you know. Obviously, you think he's like the second best tight end behind Travis Kelsey. And he's got a good running back for flex. As a flex running back, he's got Raheem Mostert. That's pretty good. 
and then he got a good defense too to get the 49ers defense. You know, the 49ers defense can play really well. Then first kicker, he stole my kicker, Jake Elliott, because I wanted Jake Elliott, but that's fine. That's kind of this. He has a really strong team, and you know, obviously we're gonna have a battle when we get there. So first team, I'm giving him. This is actually the only, the second second and the last last second. I'm gonna give him the five star. It's a five star rating because there's only. To me, I only got great like two teams that are five star, which was Hawk Tua and then this one. First floor, I got him a good floor, nine and five record. So just w it's just one loss, loss before like Hawk Tua. And then, however, his ceiling will be tied with Hawk Tua, which is twelve and two. So yeah, you know that team. That's a that's a really deep team right there. And obviously, you know, I think he's gonna have a good season. So, but until he plays against me, and then up next we got Donkey Bong. So yeah, this team, this team's actually pretty good. You know, I'm not gonna lie, this team's actually pretty good. You know, I think he drafted him way better than whatever he drafted last year. So for his QB, he's got Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson is kind of a hit or miss, but I think Anthony Richardson is gonna be a good QB for Indianapolis Colts. For running back, he's got the best running back, which is Christian McCaffrey. You know that dude's that dude's gonna ball out, and then for a second one, it's also a pretty good running back, which is Travis Etienne Jr. First wide receiver is gonna be Brandon Ayuk. You know that dude is really good, but I actually don't know if he's still playing for San Francisco because but I'm so done with the trade talk. I think he still won't be San Francisco, regardless where he's at. He's gonna be really good. Then you got Nico Collins. You know the starting wide receiver. That dude's gonna get some, that dude's gonna get fed for receptions and also yards too. So that's pretty good. And then for the tight ends, you got Sam Laporta. You know, Sam Laporta is one of those top tight ends. And then Flex, he's got Cooper Cup, you know, one of the top wide receivers out there in the NFL. And then the defense, you got the Browns defense. Please, please, Browns defense. Please kill that Cowboys offense. You don't understand why, trust me. And then for the kicker, you got Young Huku. You know, a pretty good kicker to me. But this, to me, he has a pretty strong team too. So I'm giving him a 4.8 star team. So it's like like what point two stars away for being a five star team because this one's pretty strong for his floor i got eight and six and then his ceiling will be 11 and three so a pretty high i think like the same tight ceiling as the chicken tikka masala so you know that that's a, that's a pretty strong team there but it's not as strong as like the devious freaks or hawk to it but you know we'll see if i'm wrong and then last but not least we got ricky Perchain. So yeah, so yeah, Ricky Perchain. Um, you know this this team. I'm looking at it right now. I've been looking at it this whole time. You know, it's, it's kind of a big question mark to me. But I'll talk about it. But like, but he's not. He's not he doesn't have like all oh, bad. But anyways, let's let's get into it. So for the QB, he's got Joe Burrow. You know, pretty good QB. Let's hope he stays healthy. And then for his running back is Alvin Kamara. I don't know much about him. And then he's got James Conner. Connor, I think he's pretty. I think he's a good. He's a good running back for Arizona, and he's got the like the second best wide receiver with Justin Jefferson. You know, he's that guy. He's been rocking with Jeff, Justin Jefferson since like he's been rocking with Justin Jefferson since like two. I guess, I guess like he's like second straight two years ago. I don't know, but he's been rocking with Justin Jefferson. And then for wide, the wide receiver, you got Garrett Wilson. Wilson, and then for tight end, you got Cole Kinnett, DJ Moore as a flex. You know, I actually don't know. I think. I think he's going to get some good points for fantasy football. And then defense, this is where my big question mark is. It's the Jets defense. You know, that defense, you know, the Jets defense is so inconsistent. Like, they'll play, like, really well and give you a lot of fantasy points. But, like, they can just give up so much points. So, that's why it's just very inconsistent. And then kicker is Greg Zerlin. I don't know how to pronounce his name right. I hope I did. I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know much, much about this team. It's kind of a big question mark for me. So... This is where I'm really harsh to him on the floor, but before I say it's four, I give him a four-star team because it's not all bad, but it's kind of like, like, you know, it's kind of a big question mark. For his floor, I'm giving him a 5-9 record, for, but for however, his ceiling will be 8-6, so it's not all bad, but like, yeah, dude. Like, it's kind of a big, that team is kind of a big question mark for me, you know, not, 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 nothing offensive and all, but yeah. So, for my matchup, we'll be against, we'll be against the owner. Known as my Stefan Diggs Small. But yeah, for me, you know, you know, for me, you know, based, based on me, I think I'm, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to be a pretty bit harsh. I think I'm going to get the win. Like, I, I really do think I'm going to get the win because there's no way I'm going to, Dak Prescott's not going to play well. Like, the Dak Cowboys defense, I'm only worried about is Travis Kelsey playing well. Other than that, 
I don't think Jackson Smith is going to get that much receiving because, you know, it's DK Metcalf and then uh, Kenneth Walker will be the one that will be getting the most ball. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But to me, I just, you know, I think I got the win here for sure. I think. Hopefully. But, yeah, you know, speaking of my Stephon Diggs, well, I want to create a new rivalry for that team because, dude, that dude's been just bullying me all over, like, like as a friend, like, this is all just jokes and all, but, like, you know, he's been bullying me, bro. I cannot with him. That's why I want, I want to create a rivalry. So, I've been talking a lot of trash about his team. His team just sucks. You know, I just think that team sucks, really. And then for this, for the next matchup will be the Devious Freaks versus Donkey Bonga. Um, to me, I mean, this is kind of tough to predict, but but I'm gonna get a favor of Devious Freaks because he's got Josh Allen. Josh Allen's gonna I think Josh Allen's gonna play just a bit tight better than Anthony Richardson. He's, he also has a pretty deep team who could just score like really good points. So I'm gonna give it to the Devious Freaks. And then for this one's gonna be the Chicken Tikka Masala versus Alex's astounding team. So this one kinda had like a tough prediction, but let me see. So this one, I'm gonna give it to Chicken Tikka Masala. I know y'all can argue about it, like, oh, what, oh, Kyler Murray, you playing against Buffalo? But CJ Stroud playing against Indianapolis. I think CJ Stroud's gonna have better points than Kyler Murray for in fantasy football. He just kind of has a better team. Plus, the defense is just way better than the Saints. And I think I think some of his players are like just better, better than most, except for the tight end, which. Our favorite Alex is a stouting team tight end because he has Mark Andrews. But other than that, I do think that Shukatika Masai will win for this week one. And then for the last but not least, for also the final topic of the podcast uh, for this podcast will be the Ricky Perchain versus Hawk Tua. Um, I said, again, it's a big question mark for Ricky Perchain, but not of a big question mark for Hawk Tua. So I'm afraid I'm going to give the win to Hawk Tua because, you know, he has just, he has. A stronger team and I know Joe Burrow can sometimes play like trash in week one but you know we'll, I don't know we'll see how well Joe Burrow is gonna play but I think I'm gonna give it to Hawk Tua because he, they just have the much stronger players and they Ricky Perching. all right you know that is going to be it for this podcast I hope y'all like it you know plenty to do more but we'll see about that so if y'all like this y'all know what to do so yeah other than that I will see y'all later you guys have a really excellent day and good night